Hi, I'm Dearborn City Councilwoman Leslie Herrick and I'd like to welcome you to this edition of Council in the Community. Joining us today is our esteemed Fire Chief, Joe Murray. Thanks for being here, Joe. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Um, I wanted to talk about um, grants and I don't know how many of the public realize that our, our chief is very good at writing grants. Our council regularly recognizes that because of what that means is that our tax dollars, your tax dollars, go a lot farther if we're not using them to purchase equipment or pay for staff or training, or we do matching grants where your tax do dollar goes farther because it's matched, or and not even, and sometimes it's only a few dollars to all the dollars that we get in return. So let's start out by talking about that. How you were just saying, how much in grants have we received? in the past couple years? Well, since about 2011, we've received about $30 million in grants just at the fire department alone. And when we talk about a fire tr truck um, costing upwards of uh, half a million dollars, um, that goes a long way when it comes to equipment and, and the training and even the staffing that we have here. Let's talk about staffing first. Right now, we're at um, the top level of staff we've ever had here in the city. Uh, how many is that and how many are being funded by grants right now? Yeah, that's correct. Currently, we're at 151 firefighters, which is the highest number of firefighters that we've ever had in the city. Uh, Twelve of those firefighters are actually completely covered by a grant from FEMA that we received uh, about a year ago, and it's good for three years. And um, once those firefighters, once the grant runs out, they're part of our permanent staff. They've been through a lot of training. We're standing by one of our ambulances here. That's where they start out, usually, is driving the ambulances and we have a lot of ambulance runs here in Dearborn, a lot of um, public health needs here in Dearborn. How many runs um, for all of our equipment have we seen in the past year? So we're uh, on pace right now to hit about 18,000 calls this year, which is a very busy fire department. Yeah, it is. Let's talk a little bit more about some of the grants we talked about staffing. The most recent grant that we received is being used for several different things, um, including uh, equipment and um, Let's talk about that. Tell us a little bit about that one and where it came from. Sure. So our most recent uh, grant that we received from FEMA is an assistance to firefighter grant. Uh, and that is actually just uh, about $900,000 we, we received from FEMA. Uh, that money is going to go to primarily uh, re replacement of a, not a lot of our radios or portable radios that we use. Uh, those are very important. That's how we communicate on, on the scenes of emergencies and fires. We have people in house fires. That's how they communicate with the outside. So very important piece of equipment for us. Uh, so we have money for that. Uh, we also have funding to replace all of our turnout gear uh, extractors, which are the machines that we use to wash our turnout gear. Uh, as you know, firefighters have a much higher rate of cancer than the general public. Uh, they're about 9% higher uh, rates of cancer in firefighters uh, than the general public. So it's very important that we get our turnout gear clean after a fire because of all the carcinogens that build up. So a lot of people don't think about, but today's houses, everything's made of plastic. So whether it's your couch or your curtains or what have you, and all that um, uh, plastics is really hazardous to your house. So when we go on a house fire, it gets in, it saturates our turnout gear, and then we're constantly breathing it in. So it's very important we get that washed. So we're replacing uh, all five machines and all of our stations. Uh, then uh, besides the equipment, we also are receiving some very uh, high-end training. So we're going to be doing technical rescue training, which includes our rope rescue, high angle rope rescue, uh, confined space training, water rescue training. And then we're doing a special uh, course on high rise, uh, fighting fires and high rises. Uh, so we'll be bringing those into uh, the city of Dearborn. And then the last part of the grant is actually uh, part of our health and wellness program for our firefighters. So you know, as we talk about the high cancer rates and, and different uh, health uh, injury and injuries that uh, are you know, uh, unique to the fire service, we're trying to combat those as best we can. So we have funding to bring in uh, professional trainers to certify uh, some of our men and women to become peer fitness trainers. And they will be used, uh, the 25 of them will be used to train the rest of the 151 firefighters in ways to stay healthy, uh, you know, make sure that they're, uh, help them create workout routines and, and teach them how to lift and use and do exercises in a safe manner. And then finally, we also have a uh, third party contractor coming in of uh, physicians and other medical professionals that are gonna do assessments, head to toe assessments of all of our firefighters and then give them a complete health assessment, current health status, and then give them a, a plan to improve their health moving forward. 
Um, and uh, it's wonderful that you're able to use these grants to meet all of these different needs um, within our fire department. And again, I think that you know when, when people, obviously in an emergency situation, the residents, the businesses, they're not thinking all of what's taken place to get the best care possible to them in their time of need. Absolutely. And you're thinking about that every day. Absolutely, it takes a whole bunch of things to come together to uh, offer the, the, the high level of service that we do here. So our firefighters are training every day, so these funds really come in handy. Uh, the equipment that we use, we have to make sure the equipment's in good working condition so our firefighters are safe so they can help people. Uh, so everything that, uh, that we focus on with these grants is really uh, a lot of different parts of the operations that all come together to provide that excellent service that we're known for. So we've been talking about the Dearborn Fire Department's um, staff and training and especially the equipment um, that we have here in Dearborn. The public is going to have a chance to see some of that and meet some of our firefighters at a really fun family friendly event coming up in October. Why don't you tell us about that? Yep, so uh, October is Fire Prevention Month and uh, we're going to be having an open house on October 19th. Uh, it's going to be held at Station 2, that's the one right across from Dearborn High School. And it's gonna be open from 12 to two for the public. And we're gonna have firefighters there. People can check out the trucks. They can, we're gonna have some goodies. We're gonna have a bunch of guests from the Dearborn Police Department and uh, other uh, safety agencies around. Uh, and it's, it's a great family, uh, fun family event. And we encourage all residents to attend. I'm speaking for myself, but I know I'm not the only one on council who knows that the top priority for our residents is their, their safety. Uh, the police, the fire, knowing that you're out there every day ready to, um, to respond to an emergency situation, um, it helps us be able to sleep better at night. So thank you for sharing your expertise for, for making that happen. And um, of course, you know you can count on us when it comes to anything new, especially new technology, things are always changing, to make those investments in the people and in the training and in the equipment that we need for you to be able to do your jobs to keep us safer. Thank you, Chief Joe Murray, for joining us um, today. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Council in the Community. I'm Dearborn City Councilwoman Leslie Herrick, and I look forward to seeing you next time.